I was just wondering if like, if you have that same standard for yourself, like, are you allowed to have um, relationships with women when you're in a relationship? Rich, are you allowed? Allowed? Did your your girl say whether you're allowed to do things or not? Like have, like like have female friends? Yeah. Why would I want to have female friends? I mean, you don't have any woman in your life that you've grown up with of childhood friends or. No, why would I want to have female friends? No. Like, I don't, I don't have any similar interests with women. <laughs> women around us. I, I mean, let's be honest. Like, the only reason why men would be interested in being mm-hmm. friends with a woman is to get into her pants. They try to friend zone their way into her panties. Do you, do you agree with that or do you disagree with that? I mean, that's not my experience. I mean, I have a lot of male friends that are completely platonic. Okay, if I were to take your cell phone right now and I were to text a couple of those male friends and said, hey, I'm horny, let's bang, what do you think they would do? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Are you okay? You sure about that? Yeah, you sure about that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be their initial reaction, but on a long enough timeline, if you sold it hard enough, those guys would cave, they would fold. That's why they're there. Like, you understand the reason why guys are your friend, right? Because I'm fun, yes. Because you're fun? Yeah, it's got nothing to do with the fact that you're a sex object to them. What do, what do you do with these men one on one that is fun? Like, what are the activities that you do? With um, your I mean, I've gone rock climbing, out to the bar, concerts, festivals. Who ch- who typically pays for that kind of stuff? Uh, we usually split it. So, when you go rock climbing, are these guys like athletic? Are they out of shape? Like, what kind of condition are they in? No, athletic. Yeah. I could climb the fuck out of a wall and you wouldn't be able to keep up. Like, I'm a competitive guy. I would have no interest in doing rock climbing with somebody that's slow. Well, you see what I'm, I'm saying, not, right? I'm like, not, no. So, again, like when I talk to guys, like if you want to have guy friends and that's cool, but just know that they're there primarily because they want to be intimate with you and they're trying to friend zone their way into your panties. Plus, if they get the opportunity for sex, um, they'll probably take it. But so would any think, guy. You don't that's think right. That and that's why they're there. The they're not there because they want to be your friend. They're there because they want to bang you. Like you understand that, right? I, n- no, because that's not true. That is not true every single time. It's not f- true 100% of the time. If they're, if they're straight males, if they're straight, they want to be intimate with you. Okay. Guys don't hang cool. around women that they're not attracted to. And if they've sexually. had a girlfriend the whole time that you guys have been friends? Doesn't matter. Like, doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. There's plenty really? of guys that will jump on the opportunity if you leave the door open. They'll and, jump right on it. You know, like, by the same token, if I'm in a relationship with my girl, I wouldn't do anything like go out to dinner with another woman or to have coffee with another woman. Well, that because we're it friends. doesn't build trust. Relationship, it can kill trust. It won't foster anything to trust, to even build anything, to have any relationships. I'm not saying the dynamic wouldn't change with the friendship if you do enter a relationship. I think that you would, you know, gradually spend less time together or like not have as much communication. Um, but I don't think you could, I would say like, I, I can't be friends with you anymore. I'm in a relationship. I would never, I would never do that. And I think um, it's but, interesting that the only thing you think women have to bring to the table as far as a friendship is their sex appeal. Like, I think that's it's not what we said. honestly, well, it seems like that's what he's saying, because what he's saying is the only reason that a guy would stick around under the guise of being your friend is for potentially the opportunity to bang you. That's the main reason why they're there. Yeah, <laughs> I think. Maybe that would be the main reason why you would be there, no. but I don't know that <laughs> you can. Women, I don't. I don't have any female everyone. friends. I, I believe friends. that they're that's not, interesting not hard to me. for me to believe at all. <laughs> they're not Rich, interesting actually. to me on a friendship type of level. I don't want to sit there and talk about people or nothing. When I that's go right. out the, and I hang out with friends, we talk about chasing excellence, putting a dent in the universe, cars. We talk about women. Those are the kinds of things that we're doing and talking about. I don't have any interest in being friends with women. It's not a real friendship. The only time guys play the friend card with a woman is when he wants to get in her pants. And like I said, you want to test it? Pick up your phone and text guys right now that you're friends with and say, hey, I'm horny. Let's bang. I guarantee you these guys, there might be some laughter around it. There might be a chuckle, but I guarantee you they're going to be like, huh, finally, she gets me. Maybe it's time. Well, here is a question. Here's the crux of the the question that was asked. She asked, 
does your girl allow you to have female friends? Let's, does your girl allow you my, to do My not girl do doesn't allow anything. I am I am the master of my domain. She doesn't permit or not permit anything. Not permit. I mean, if she doesn't like something, she can leave. But I don't do anything in the relationship to compromise it. And one of the things that would compromise it would be me hanging out with other chicks. Yeah, I was more so curious if like you applied that to your same of course. relationship life. Yeah, but it's not for the reason of that. It's not for the reason that because like she allows the question it or that Jordan it. is getting to. It's like, well, yeah, we, we keep going back to this double standard. It's like, well, if she can't, you can't either. It's first of all, I don't want to anyway, because, again, like, men and women generally have nothing in common as far as common interests go. I mean, men and women don't even live on the same planet. We don't experience the world the same. Women are generally interested in different things that men are. Sure, you've got your average tomboy or girls that like to go like hunting and fishing and generally male uh, historically activities. But generally, like women have very few hobbies and things they like to do outside of getting together with the girls and brunching or getting dressed up to go hit the club, things like that. It's, it's you, don't, you don't really see this weekend – we had 17 guys come down to where I am and we got together for a weekend of, you know, shooting guns and doing tactical training and going fishing and boxing and doing hand-to-hand -hand combat. You generally don't see that same group of women doing that kind of stuff. We just generally don't have the same things in common over a long enough you know, balance of probabilities. And that's okay. But it's not because women aren't valuable. It's just because we don't share a lot me, of the same things that we want to do. Hold on, I want Kenzie to respond first. Yeah, okay, go ahead, Kenzie. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was going to this and be like, I kind of like I can see the point of view on both sides, but I am one of those girls where like I'm hunting, I'm fishing, I'm dirt biking. I grew up on a dirt bike track. I've grown up with lots of boys, and like they're just one of those childhood friends that we on each side. From what I um told and how it's shared, it's seen as more of like. A cousinship not like a friendship not even like a relationship and those guys have never had never crossed that boundary never tried to cross that boundary and i honestly don't think I that they you would why. because you you're saying this is your perspective you see them as yeah. a cousin you see them as a brother they don't see you the same way and the reason they're not willing to cross that line is because once that line is crossed you can never uncross it they know that if they shoot their shot with you and fail they can never be around you. They can't hang out with you anymore. You will close the door on that. Or if you don't, it will exactly. now become, but it, that's the point that I'm saying. So yeah. it's too risky for these guys to actually fire their shot at you. They're waiting sometimes for decades for you to open that door just to crack, for you to get drunk at a party and start putting your arms around somebody or for you to start giving it that you do do something that's going to let him think that he actually has a chance. That's why the vast majority of these guys will never make a move because it's better for them to live in sort of this orbiter mentality where they're just waiting in perpetuity for a chance rather than completely nuke their chances with you. And that still means that those guys, if they had the opportunity, they'd take it. It's, it's very difficult for women to understand this. Like I completely understand Right. But the reality of the world is, is that if you got a guy that you like and you're in a long term relationship and you said, Bob, I want to claim you. I don't want to see anybody else. I'm not seeing anybody else. You're the apple of my eye. Where are we going with this? You know, it would be exclusive, blah, blah, blah. And you found out that Bob was going to go out to dinner with a friend. Would you guys be OK with that? I wouldn't do that if I was in a relationship. No, no, I, I'm talking about Bob going out with a girl. No, okay. I wouldn't. Jordan? I'd have questions. What kind yeah. of questions would you have, Kenzie? I think I'd have questions like, oh, like how, like, how do you guys know each other? How long have you guys been friends kind of a thing? And kind of dive into like that relationship and what the fundamentals of your friendship are. Why are you friends? How did you meet? What's your connection? What keeps you guys talking and communicating? And then kind of be like, right, like, but I'm also like a very like take a chance. I always give the benefit of the doubt, and so that's my so kind girls of point will of view. routinely go and creep on social media and see who these girls are, who's liking their boyfriend's posts, who's commenting. You know who these bitches are, right? Like you know who they are, and the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to be like, well, who is so and so, and why are you going out with her? And why did she la like your last 15 posts and say this comment with an emoji hearty squeezy thing, you know, like, you know who these girls are. 
you don't want to leave the guy in a room or give him an opportunity to go outside of the relationship. You can't risk losing him. Let's be honest. I mean, the no. thing is, is I'm yeah, very like I'm very right? secure in who I am and what I have to offer and where I stand and how confident I am in myself. So I am not one of those girls. But I did actually just deal with uh, a guy that I was seeing doing exactly what you just said to me. And there's I'm, a lot of feminine men out there. Yeah. <laughs> me preventing Bob so, from going out to dinner with X, Y, and Z is not going to prevent him from straying if that's what he really wants to do. And if that's what he's, it, it's going to, he's going to make that happen, whether or not I try to stand in the way of that. So I would rather, yeah, it's fine to ask a question like, who is she? How long have you known her? Whatever. Um, go have fun. And if you, you know, you come back, you come back. If not, see ya. Got it. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.